Hi everyone, welcome to today's Heart Thought. Hmm, again, I'm going to start with a quote. It's by William Drayton. Change starts when someone sees the next step. You know, nobody likes change. It's really uncomfortable. You know, we have to leave the comfort of what we know and venture out into what we don't know. And human beings really like to stick with what they know. Uh, the funny thing is, we're always changing. Haven't you had information, input, and interaction with others that changed you a little bit today? You weren't who you were when you left this morning. You know, a cup fills one drop at a time. And when we look back on our lives, we realize that we're very different from that child who was in kindergarten, from that teenager who had her first kiss, uh, from somebody who gave birth to a child. We change. We never stay the same. You know, most of us have a sense of the kind of legacy that we'd like to leave. Um, the problem is, the journey is so big that it's very hard for us to even figure out how to take that first step. Uh, how do I get from there to here? You know, Martin Luther King Jr. said, you don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. That's all you have to do. You just have to see the next step and take that. I believe it was Buddha who said that the journey of a million miles begins with a single step. You know, human beings, it's so difficult for us to get started. But once we get started, it's very hard to stop us. Just as an example, I'm taking my counseling business from a bricks and mortar business to a web-based business. I really feel the need to get this message out and share it with a wider audience. The problem about this is that I'm actually an introvert and introverts are much more comfortable having conversations with small groups of people or one-on-one. -on -one. This social media behemoth that seems to grow and change every single day really scared me. It seemed to me like the huge elephant in the room and I didn't know how to eat it. Uh, I would wake up every day and sit down. Um, at my computer and think, okay, I don't know what to post, I don't know what to share, I don't know what to comment on, I don't even know what to do, this, this just isn't who I am. And I was reading books and I was talking to people and I'm a real process person, a real problem solver. So if I could figure out a way to put this into a process I could follow or steps that I could take, then all I had to do was take my first step. So, Eureka, I get up one morning and I think, okay, I can tackle this elephant. I'll just eat them one bite at a time. I'm going to spend 30 minutes. That's it. That's all I'm asking myself to do. 30 minutes every day with one aspect of social media. I'll post, I'll comment, I'll share. And now it's starting to make sense to me and I'm actually enjoying it. So, you know, that elephant wasn't really that big when I decided to eat them one bite at a time. What's your elephant in the room? What scares you so much that you don't even know where to begin? You know, what's holding you back from connecting with your biggest heart's desire, with that legacy that you want to leave your, your kids and your family in this world? Comment below and let me know what scares you. When we get it from where it's sitting inside of us and put it out there, it allows us to see the possibility of a first step. We can even say, oh, that's what's scaring me, and then we can move forward. Subscribe to this channel, please, and also share this with anybody else in your life who you think could benefit from a daily heart thought.